कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे बहन के टको ने बेड़ा खड़ा कर दिया गाइस वी गीटीओ सिक्स ट्रेलर टू लीक द रिलीज डेट स्टार लूसिया बुना का लीक एज यूजल राइट इट्स ऑल इज अबाउट द बुना एंड वट नॉट टू द ब्रदर्स ऑफ देर बट अपेरली वर ऑल्सो हेयरिंग रूमर्स दैट द गेम इज गोना गेट डिलेट टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज दैट ट्रू इज दैट फेक सम पीपल आर बिलीव इन इट सम आर नॉट बिलीव इन इट एंड आई गेस इफ यूर नॉट बिलीव इन इट दैट्स गुड दो बट वर गोना एक्चुअली टॉक अबाउट इट इज द गेम गोना बी वोट दो Is GTA 6 gonna be woke? We're gonna talk about it. Like the video if you don't want GTA 6 being woke. Dislike the video if you're if you want GTA 6 to be woke. But first of all, let me show you this video and there's a bunch of stuff that's going around, right? Roll it. It appears that the wait for the second trailer of GTA 6 may soon be over. Okay. According to the latest leak, GTA 6 is rumored to be releasing on February 18th, 2025, which seems more credible than previous leaks. This recent leak also suggests interesting details about the game. including like a younger what? version of Lucia and Jason along with improvements in storyline and graphics the second GTA 6 trailer is set to be coming in April and it will focus more about Lucia and Jason's roles in the story it's reported that the main storyline will span a staggering 188 hours Nah, bro. Come on, man. Stop the cap. That that got to be cap. You guys okay, first of all, there's like another clip that I want to show you but guys One in the comments if you think that's facts. Two if you think that's cap. Now the main story is not gonna be 188 hours. Uh, like let's be real. But I I feel like that you know this game is gonna be out and we're not gonna get GTA 7 for like another decade. So <laughs> I think it's gonna be more than 188 hours, guys. In that in that aspect, sure, right? But you guys remember when Cyberpunk game came out and we heard that it's gonna be like a hundred plus hours of gameplay. And then IGN came out and they finished the game in like what 13, 14 hours. <laughs> Sega did finish the game that quick and before the game even comes out you know for the fact that we're already going to have its ending out on YouTube. So 188 188 hours for a main story or you mean the the whole game? I can believe the whole game though, but main story probably going to be less than 20 hours though. Much longer than most RPG titles. Although this longer content raises questions about the game's pricing with some suggesting it may justify a higher cost. due to the nah, extensive bro. development on, effort. Joel. Insiders nah. also claim that Lucia will be remodeled to resemble the official GTA 6 artwork more closely. Oh, hinting at possible changes. You honestly, bro, like the artwork Lucia looks kind of much better than the actual like trailer version. I agree with that. And the character's age yeah. throughout the game. Considering that we have leaked gameplay footage of a younger Jason. Yeah, and right here like Jason, like look at that. Right, Jason looks kind of odd, but I feel like that in the actual trailer Jason Jason looks much better, and I do have hope for the fact that GTA 6 is not going to be full blown woke, but it's going to be woke though. Guys, let's be real, that's not even an opinion, okay? That's an ultimate fact. I'm not sure for how, how uh, for how long you guys have been around. Maybe you're new here, and if you have seen the video and the drama that's happening with Sweet Baby Inc, Asmin Go with the gaming and with the gay theft auto and all that i i made the videos on it right like definitely check it out but you can ignore these videos but if you don't have time but certainly do not ignore this video okay i'm just going to make sure you can see the thumbnail here right yeah like absolutely Bruh. check this out because you're going to see what rockstar games have actually done we're not even talking opinions we're not even talking like assumptions or uh, me assuming you assuming people assuming and all that rockstar games have <laughs> wokeified their games okay they have you can check this video out and see why people are worried and a lot of you I, i've seen your guys comments as well and you guys are saying bro gta 6 is going to be woke i'm not going to buy but deep down you're going to buy let's be real uh, or maybe you're not going to buy i should not be you know I, i mean you are your own person maybe you're speaking the facts and if you're speaking facts that's all right right but here's the thing i do believe that it's going to be woke but i don't think it's going to be full blown woke But if it is then it's going to make international headlines it's going to start WW5 because guys you got to understand that it's not that we're going to get GTA 7 tomorrow okay <laughs> had it been we were getting GTA 7 tomorrow then sure okay we love drama we we, we still need memes okay brothers still want to laugh okay then you can go ahead and do it but guys man GTA 6 Come on now man we waited 10 years for this like out here bro like do, don't mess with it like the video if you if you agree man This theory does have a place to be. Additionally, okay. the leak suggests significant improvements in graphics and promised surprises for players, likely related to the game's visual fidelity and other aspects of gameplay. Yeah. Overall, hopefully other aspects are not shark cards and Wolfie Fine GTA. These right? leaks provide an interesting insight into what players can expect from GTA 6. 
hinting at a vast and immersive experience. Rockstar Games has made some updates to its official website, renaming the Watch Trailer 1 page to videos from Grand Theft Auto 6. While only the first trailer is currently available, yeah. this change has sparked speculation about the imminent release of the second trailer. These updates come shortly after Rockstar refreshed the website banner, prominently Refresh. featuring GTA 6 artwork, leading many to believe that more news about the game is on the way. Although Honestly, the this game is gonna be the biggest game of the century, bro. Like, on... Uh, I should not say on uh, century, because maybe we're gonna get GTA 7, like, in, like, 20, 30 years from now, right? Yeah. So that's definitely gonna be... That's definitely gonna be the biggest game if GTA 6 turns out to be good and the way we think it's gonna turn out, right? Uh, and recently, there has been a lot of rumors going around about the release date. You must have heard the news as well that the game is gonna be coming out uh, or can get delayed to 2026. Is it real? Is it fake? Now, here's the thing, though. The, the source behind is Kotaku, but they are using actual Bloomberg and other sources that are credible. Now, Kotaku, we all know that's like, yeah, it's whatever, right? Like, they started the entire drama with, like, with the woke stuff, with the gay stuff, and all that. So it's, yeah, that's Kotaku for you, right? But Kotaku is not credible. But here's the thing, though. Whatever they said that, yeah, like, the game can get delayed, let's be real, you know that, I know that. It can happen, though. It re yeah, guys, it can get delayed to 2026, but hopefully it doesn't. The news is not real, but deep down, we all know it can get delayed if they really are not ready or if they really don't want to. And you know what? It's going to cause some pain, but I feel like that a lot of people would prefer a good and not so woke game rather than like a bad game at launch uh, full of bugs full of shiza and full of woke crap uh, that's not what brothers want right so if they delay it and if the and whenever the game comes out it's gonna come out right and if the game is good i think brothers not gonna be worried about it like thoughts agree disagree these website changes could be mere coincidences the mention of the second trailer has already generated a lot of excitement singer okay. anita ward even appeared to hint at her involvement in the game when the vi logo briefly appeared appeared on her Spotify but, but, but profile, she mistake, although she later clarified that it was added by mistake. Yeah. These updates <laughs> coincide with Rockstar yeah. adding the upcoming title to their websites. But like, how do you add the actual GTA 6 logo as a mistake? Games like, library. GTA 6 that. has recently been added to the games section on Rockstar Games' official website. On the page, you can see the game's first official artwork, featuring Lucia and her partner as the main banner. Yeah. Clicking on this banner, takes you to a new page where you can watch the title's debut trailer. Hopefully, uh, like, Lucia do not treat her partner as, like, a little chihuahua, bro. Like, uh, hopefully they do not emasculate the homie, bro. And read a welcome to Leonida message. With Rockstar employees scheduled to return to office work in April and preparations underway for the planned 2025 launch, it's obvious that anticipation for GTA 6 continues to build. Just yeah, three yeah, months yeah, yeah. later, a new job posting has appeared from the company. They are looking for a Russian localization tester at Rockstar Lincoln, one of the group's three English branches. What's catching attention is that the position is specifically mentioned as a fixed term role. And, and I know like a lot of brothers like looked at it and brothers were like, they're gonna be <laughs> they're gonna be putting the game out in 12 months, guys. You gotta understand this. They can always they can always delay the fixed term. <laughs> they can always delay it. So this is not a factor of if the game is really gonna be coming out like 12 months from now. These things can always extend it. These things can always delay it. Okay, you guys gotta put that cookie down, bro. Put that A cookie 12 down. 12-month contract. This, along with the recent renaming of the page suggests that something significant is happening at the studio. With all these changes taking place within the past 10 days, it's reasonable to expect some updates from Rockstar Games soon, possibly related to the highly anticipated second trailer for GTA yeah. 6. Second trailer? Grand yeah. Theft Auto 6 has to come out with a gameplay trailer at some point, and True. when it does, True. some consequences may be inevitable. There's no questioning just how big of a game Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be, even with so much time to go before its release. It's only man with the, all that get bro like I don't know like how they can turn this uh, shies like into woke I don't think it's gonna be fully woke though and that's good guys that, that's good that's good you know what I'm saying and, and that also you know all that Bruna that we saw all like the amount of Bruna that was in the game right like uh, that that caused a lot of uh, journalists to be like yo ban the game ban the game Meanwhile, they forget that this is an 18 plus game. So I, I think like this game is really gonna uh, like, uh, what's what's the word? Offend, yeah, this game is really gonna offend Bruh. a lot of people. 
I think it's really gonna offend a lot of people. Maybe it's gonna be good, maybe it's gonna be bad. I, I just hope the game is fun, though. You know what I mean? That's all what gamers uh, care about. If the game is good, if the game is fun, that's all what that matters. Like, uh, F all, like, if that offends you, who cares, right? That's gonna be drama. We're, we're gonna enjoy the drama, we're gonna make videos, we're gonna laugh at dumbasses, right? That's what we're gonna do. But at the core of it, brothers don't even care about, like, offensive crap, edgy crap, or none of that. Brothers don't care about it, right? Brothers just wanna see a good game and like i was saying earlier right like objectively if the game is good and it also has woke stuff yeah brother's gonna let it slide <laughs> but but still like people gonna complain about it rightfully so and understandably so right like every gamer nowadays is like chasing the esg score the blackrock dei and sib or sbi yeah sweet baby ink and crap like that yeah brothers don't want to see that brothers just want to see like a good game and i'll give you this example right like back in the day, days back in the days with gta4 we had the ballad of gay tony dlc did we have like people like crying over that not really because why it wasn't forcing crap down people's throat uh, and they made like a sick ass DLC. Yeah, the Tony was. <laughs> But did people care about it? Nah, not really, because the game was actually good, and uh, it felt like uh, it was normal and wasn't, like, pushed. Whenever stuff feels like that, it's being pushed down people's throats, that's when people are worried and uh, they, they complain about it, because people don't want to be told what to do. Right, guys? Like the video if you agree. Go before it's released. Dislike if you disagree. It's only natural that any new information about the I game gonna be good. is going to be quickly snapped up by fans and prospective players. This is especially true for gameplay footage, as it will provide insights into how the series has evolved. However, so. Rockstar should be ready for the inevitable surge of attention that will come Yay. with the release of this trailer. Yay. The reaction to Grand Theft Auto 6's Strong first trailer clearly showed the immense excitement Strong surrounding the game. With no new installment since 2013, apart from remasters, yeah. everyone have been oh, waiting man. for the next chapter in the series. Now, with GTA yeah. 6 finally on the horizon, players have already learned some key details such as the introduction of the new protagonist Lucia and the return to Vice City. While speculation on these aspects may calm down for now, the mystery surrounding the rest of the game will persist until Rockstar provides concrete answers. That's why the upcoming trailers from Rockstar will play a vital role in shaping the narrative around oh, Grand will. Theft Auto 6. It will. 100%. One major goal for GTA 6 is to improve upon the gameplay of GTA 5, and that's exactly what the first gameplay trailer will need to demonstrate. Yeah. The core features, like combat... And one thing, you know what, like, this is something that a lot of people talk about. It's like, bro, like, don't get hyped over, like, trailers. Don't ever pre-order the game. And generally speaking, that's good advice. You know, I preach that. You six always preach that. You brothers always talk about it. And, and that's true. But also, the opposite is true. Now, it doesn't mean that it's gonna stay true. What I mean is, uh, what, I, what I'm trying to say here is that whatever you see in, like, GTA 6 trailer, whatever you see with Rockstar, that's exactly what you're gonna get. Rockstar gets games usually show the actual progress of their game uh, you look back at red dead redemption gta 5 their past games whatever you saw in the trailers that's what you got even better than that you if you look at the original gta 5 2011 trailer bro <laughs> it's not even what we got at the end at the end we got crap that was better 100 times better and in 2024 gta 5 is so much better versus what it was in 2011 when they first revealed 2011 to 2013 right 2013 being when it released and it was just a night and day difference and when they upgraded to ps4 it was way better than they remastered again and again yeah bro like come on dang. like brothers don't mind the remasterification of a game like gta because it's good brothers just sad that that's the only thing we got with rockstar games but one thing that we appreciate with rockstar is that whatever you see is what we're gonna get and when you actually pause this now forget about the entire gta 6 trailer and the lucia burna right for for a second Bruh. i know that burna kind of hard to forget though I, I get it but stay focused here and listen to me here, listen listen here this here's the thing if you forget the entire trailer and you just focus on this scene alone it doesn't look that impressive right Bruh. like it looks like that this one is in the game and when you think that way that this is uh in the actual game and that's what we're gonna play you're like damn it, it looks kind of odd though because half of the games or more than half of the games that you see in trailer they don't even look equally not even equally like 
10% of the way that they were presented in their trailer. They just don't look that good when you actually get to play. But when you look at the this from just this shot, it doesn't look that impressive. But when you think about it, uh, and you look at the entire trailer, and you know Rockstar's track record, you're like, bro, this game is gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. And when you realize that this is only the first trailer, and we still got a little bit of time, when the game hits the market, it's gonna be way better than whatever they show uh, showed in this trailer, whatever they're gonna show like in a couple of months from now, and by the time it gets to re uh, to be released, and obviously like PS5 Pro is gonna be coming out, and when this Sega is put on the PC eventually, I hope it comes out, never know, like, you know, it might not, no, it might not come out, no, that, that, yeah. but it's probably, it's probably gonna be on PC, but y you guys feel what I'm saying, right? Like, this game is gonna be, hopefully, 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 keyword is hopefully, amazing, man and driving will oh. obviously be crucial. After all, a Grand Theft Auto game relies heavily on solid shooting mechanics and top-notch vehicle handling, as they are essential elements of the franchise. Additionally, any new features introduced in the game will need to be showcased in the best possible light. It's inevitable that Grand Theft Auto 6's gameplay trailer will face intense scrutiny, with everyone observing any possible detail. Absolutely. Grand Theft Auto Absolutely. 6 is bound to be a major topic in gaming news, oh, regardless be, of what happens. It's gonna be hyped. It's uh, it's what Sega's gonna be talking for years and years. It's uh, gonna create controversies, hundred and hundred and ten percent, and I'm all up for that. I hope it does create controversies because that means content for me, content for you guys, content for everybody. But I hope the controversies are like you know you know what I mean, right? Like it, 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 the the type of controversies that I'm talking about are not necessarily controversies for the gamers, right? It whenever we have a good game. It become controversies for the non-gamers. You, you feel what I'm saying, right? It, it's not even supposed to be controversies. It's supposed to be a genuine and good piece of art and good piece of game, right? But they hate us. They want, if I, if there's a good game, they want to create that. Whenever you don't have a problem, you create a problem. Create a problem. And that's what those suckers want to do. I'm talking about the suckers that, that, that are not even gamers, right? Uh, you look at the original Modern Warfare 2, no Russian. Yeah, that mission was, I get it. It was like a little bit too out there. But like, damn, it didn't need to be a controversial mission, bruh. Because uh, it was only in a, in, a, in a game. It wasn't like in real life. But had it been like it was, uh, you, you know, in a movie... Uh, they wouldn't even worry about it. They wouldn't even bat an eye. They're like, yeah, bro, it's a uh, good art, bro, bro, good art, good art. But video games, they don't view video games like that. However, the big question is whether GTA 6 will be worth the money in the end. I the initial that. trailer got fans excited, and Rockstar needs to keep that excitement going. The upcoming oh, gameplay oh, trailer shaking. will be crucial for maintaining the hype. A strong showing in the gameplay footage could ramp up fan anticipation even more. Therefore, yeah. every aspect of Grand Theft Auto 6's gameplay will be closely examined right from the start. There is also many rumors circulating about the GTA 6 budget that has been a popular topic of discussion online. A common yeah, speculation billion, is that the budget for GTA 6 is quite significant. The impressive quality of the first trailer suggests that Rockstar Games is investing heavily in the game, so it's reasonable to assume a large budget. In recent times, we've seen other game studios investing heavily in their projects, so it wouldn't be surprising if the upcoming GTA title followed suit. Yeah. There are various rumors regarding the GTA 6 budget, with some suggesting that Rockstar Games has allocated around $2 billion for the game. This is a uh, can a brother get two pennies, bro? Bruh. That's all I'm asking, bro. Like, can a brother get two pennies? Yo, listen, man. Honestly, bro. Instead of like investing two billion, Rockstar invest one billion and save the extra billion. And you know what you can do with that one billion? Give that to your players that are watching this video, that are liking this video, that are playing your game. Like the video if you agree. Like the video if you agree. They should give like one. They they, they should give one billion to all of us that are playing their game and, and torturing. Uh, because we torture ourselves uh, to play their games, right, guys? Right. Guys? <laughs> yeah, they they should, man. I agree with that. You agree with that? I agree with that. Staggering amount that? of money, which has understandably grabbed the attention of the gaming community and yeah. sparked some discussion. Considering the long development time for GTA 6 and the expected marketing expenses by Rockstar Games, a $2 billion budget for the game doesn't seem outlandish. It for context, other not. big titles like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, reportedly had budgets approaching $1 billion. Even if GTA 6 doesn't hit the $2 billion mark, it's still likely to have a budget well over $1 billion given Rockstar Games' reputation. Yo, Modern Warfare 3 and $1 billion? Bro, come on, man. That's comedy. 
That's comedy, bro. You know that's comedy. What? One billion for a remastered trash? Uh, and now, don't get me wrong. Those remaster maps are good. They're from a beloved franchise. I'm talking about the original Modern Warfare 2, right? They remaster 2009 Modern Warfare 2 maps and Modern Warfare 3. But, like, how do you spend one billion on that when you know for the fact that even the campaign was so bad in it for the first time ever, uh, and they just war zonified everything in the campaign as one, one, one billion... Get more, bro for delivering extensive and content-rich games. Since Rockstar Games featured GTA 6 prominently on their website's banner, fans have been discussing its potential cost and budget. However, yeah. it's important to remember that none of this information has been officially confirmed by Rockstar yeah. Games. And this is why I'm saying give that money to all of us. And guys, recently we had like the look at next-gen graphics. There's a lot of news going around about PS5 Pro next-gen graphics. Click on this video on the screen. On the left though, this is that woke uh, GTA 6 uh, video. Yeah, the one that I was talking about, the one that I was telling you to check out. If you have not, check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.